Hi, this video will show you how to find articles in the database called Academic Search Complete. The first thing that you want to do is to go to the Shasta College Library homepage, and you can get there by typing in shastacollege.edu slash library, or just Google Shasta College Library. Once you're on the homepage, you'll want to go over to Articles and Databases located on the left-hand side of the screen. From here, you'll see the list of databases and you'll choose the second one, Academic Search Complete. Academic Search Complete is a collection of publications that includes articles on nearly every area of academic study. So it's a great place to start your research. Once you click on the database, if you have not already logged into the portal, it will prompt you to put in your portal username and password. This is the same username and password that you use to get into Canvas. So go ahead and enter that information and it will let you into the database. From here, we are searching in Academic Search Complete. Because I want to make the most of my time here today, I'm going to choose databases and select a few that, uh, databases that I want to search at the same time. So when you click on Choose Databases, it brings up a list of EBSCO databases um, that we can choose from. So I'm going to go through the list and just explain a few of them. Um, we have, uh, if you're doing a history topic, you might want to include America History and Life with full text. If you have a topic with, a, with an economic component or a business, something to do with money or businesses, you might choose Business Source Elite. If you're a nursing student, you might choose CINAHL. Uh, if you're studying a topic that has to do with education or um, higher education, you might choose ERIC. It includes uh, publications uh, around uh, that talk about educational topics. Uh, if you have an environmental topic, you might consider using Green File. There's a few more health ones. I would only choose this Health Source Nursing Academic Edition if you are a nursing student. Uh, if you are an English 1A or a communications student, uh, it's pretty technical and you are looking probably more for the consumer edition. Um, so if you're a nursing student, stick with this one. If you are a communications or English student, I would choose the Health Source Consumer Edition. Master file is a great one to choose uh, just in general along with Academic Search Complete. It contains um, quality newspapers, magazines, and trade publications on a variety of topics. Medline is great for health topics, nutrition, military and government. I would choose this one if you um, are researching any topic that has laws and regulations. Um, so this is great for the English 1A assignment that uh, students are looking at bills and uh, policy, so I would choose that one um, if that's if that's part of your topic. Uh, the psychology and behavioral sciences collection is great for any topics that deal with psychology, sociology, philosophy. Um, if your topic, if you are talking at all about you know why we do the things we do, uh, you might choose that one. So I'm my demo topic today is going to be genetically modified foods and labeling. So the ones that I'm going to choose is master file. Um, and I'm going to choose business source elite and green file. So now you can see that I'm searching all four of those databases at the same time. And this saves me time so that I don't do have to do four of the same search in each of these. So really helpful. Um, so now we have to decide what are we going to put in these boxes here. So usually we start with a, a research question. So my research question might be, should we require genetically modified foods to be labeled? So I have to take that question apart and think of what are the ideas contained within my question. So the first idea that I can identify is genetically modified foods, right? So I'm going to put in this box, first box, genetically modified or GMO. So GMO is an acronym that sometimes authors or people who are researching this topic might include. So I have genetically modified or GMO. One author might use genetically modified as a term. Another author might just put GMO in there. Using the or allows me to retrieve articles that contain either of these terms. It doesn't have to include 
both of the terms, it can include either one. So it gives me um, more articles and helps me capture um, articles that use related terms for one, for one of the ideas of my topic. The next part of my topic is around labeling. So I'm going to put label with an asterisk. So that will give me labeling, labeled, labels. Um, so all forms of this word. So it helps expand um, the articles that I'm getting so that I retrieve any article with any form of that word. So we're gonna go ahead and do a search. So I have 1,751 articles retrieved. Um, I'm gonna limit that just a little bit. So you can see that um, the I have articles here that go all the way back to 1994. And the topic of genetically modified foods and labeling has definitely changed since uh, 1994. So I wanna make sure for the purpose of my paper that I'm using the most current information. So I'm going to change this date to 2014. So you want to go like five to six years um, and we'll see. So that brought it down by like a thousand articles, which is really great. You can also take a look here and you can see that um, there are 311 magazines and 172 academic journals, 75 trade publications and 58 news articles in here. So if you have specifications um, from your teacher of needing um, an academic journal or uh, magazines, you can limit it even further using the source type here. Uh, you can also take a look under the um, the article. You can see here it says academic journal. So now I know that this is an academic journal and not a magazine. And that's important just for you to realize what type of information you're consuming and using for your paper. Let's see if there are any magazines. So this one says periodical. So this is actually a magazine um, or trade publication. So you can kind of get an idea of the types of sources you are collecting based um, on these icons next to them. So I'm going to take a look at this one right here. So this is pretty current. It was from January 2019, and it's an academic journal. Um, and this is the impacts of mandatory GE food labeling. So I'm going to click on that. This could be a really good uh, article. You can read uh, the abstract, which is like a summary of the article. Um, also, one of my biggest tips is, let's say I read this and I was like, wow, yes, this is exactly what I want to use on my paper. This is what I was looking for. Take a look at these subject terms right up here because uh, like food labeling laws, I wouldn't have thought to put that in my search. So chances are that other great articles are using the same subject terms. So you might go up and include and add in some of those uh, subject terms that you find here to your search so that you can further refine it and get exactly what you're looking for. Um, just one of my biggest tips. And also like, you know, when you're first starting out, you may not know all the terms or the vocabulary around your topic. So this really helps you get an understanding of how people are writing about your topic um, so that you can, you can learn more about it and write about it in a scientific and professional manner while also searching to and improving your searching. Um, so to actually read the article, you can go over here to either HTML or PDF. It'll open right up in your browser, which is really nice. Um, and you can read it here. Uh, I'm gonna go back. It's gonna take me back to the results list really quick. Um, I'm gonna go back into the record. Um, here. So let's say I decided I want to use this um, or possibly use it. Then you'll want to make sure to email it to yourself. And this is important because nothing is more frustrating than doing a lot of research and then having to repeat that because you can't find your articles again. So I highly recommend emailing it to yourself here. So you can click your email in article you can title it like article one something like that and then you can also send in your citation format as well 
Um, so that will be attached and then uh, click send. Um, a lot of times students go up here and they'll grab this URL. That actually will not work later. So um, you'll want to make sure to email it or grab the permalink here. You can also uh, get the citation here. So if you click cite, you can scroll down to your preferred citation method. I just um, want to warn you that they're frequently wrong, especially about names. So it looks like they might have, um, like there could be a name thing going on here with K dot, there's no space there. Uh, and so you'll want to double check that capitalization is correct. Um, that they have the correct information and uh, so that your teacher doesn't return it and say, this is wrong. Uh, so you can get the pieces of information here and a good starting point, but always review it uh, with your MLA or APA or Chicago guide, whichever citation format you're using. Um, so, and then once you email it to yourself, you can go back to the results list and continue revising your search um, and gathering more articles. So I hope this helps as you begin your search in Academic Search Complete. Uh, if you have any questions while you're searching, if you get stuck on keywords or you're not finding what you need, you can always go over here to chat with a librarian and click there and we um, can start chatting with you right away. You can also go up here and it will email us your search and we can give you some tips. Um, so we're here to help if you need it. Thanks and have a great day.